Okay, so we're going to do some work here on finding z-scores from a known given area. Now that seems like kind of like a weird thing, but really what we need to do is we need to recall what is a percentile. Okay, so a percentile. What is this? All right, so I have a set of data, right? So here's my data. And let's say this is like my 75th percentile. That means that 75% of the data is below that number. And 25% of the data is above that number. Okay. So this is a percentile. So what we want to be able to do is like if I'm given... Um, a percentile. So let's say I have some percentile, the nth percentile. I want to be able to convert that to a z-score. Okay, and I want the z-score, so remember z-scores are on a normal distribution. So like up here would be like the 75th percentile, right? And here would be 75% of the data points here is 25% of the data points. So this is going to have a z-score. That's how many standard deviations am I above the mean. Okay, now we used to have to do this using tables and it was awful. This is not how we're going to do this. Okay, now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to verify that in fact the z-score that makes this happen is 0 0.2534. So my argument here is that if I go from negative infinity to 0 0.2534, I'm going to find, sorry, this is not the 75th percentile. Let me correct that. Um, this is actually the 60th percentile is the one that I actually built in the notes for this. So 60% of the data would be down here and 40% of the data would be up here. So my argument is, is that that's supposed to happen at the Z score 0 0.2534. All right. So how can I verify that? Well, to do that, I can break up my calculus. And remember that z-scores are a standard normal distribution. So I go second vars, bring up the distributions, the normal CDF. Um, so I want to go from negative infinity to 0.2534. So that's going to be negative some large number like 999 to 0 0.2534. And I paste that. And then I hit enter, and if you look, that comes up as almost exactly 60%, which means 60% of the data is to the left of that z-score. The other 40% is above that z-score. So now the question is, this, where did I get that number from? Where did that 0.2534 come from? Okay, so this is where we use a different distribution in the calculator. We go second, and we go to the VARs. And then if you look, the third distribution down is this thing called invert normal, or inverse normal. Okay, and it says area. Well, what percentage of the area do I want to have? I want to have 0 0.60 of the area, 60% of the area to the left of my value. I want a z-score, so my mean is 0, my standard deviation is 1. I hit paste, I hit enter, and there is this number, 0.253347. Now, it looks like I should be using 0.2533, but if I do that, I'm rounding down. If I round down, I'm actually going to be with less than 60% below me. So when you're doing this, you always, always, always round up. So if I want this rounded to four decimal places, I would round 0 0.2534, not 2533. So note, when you do the inverse normal, you always, always, always have to round up in order to get the correct percentile. All right, so there you go. This is 
finding z-scores from known given areas. Another way of looking at this is given a percentile, can I find the z-score? 